Hello there, welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. This time we're going to be doing mission 9. Mission 9, New Strength. Now I don't think I want to buy any upgrades. No, I don't. No. Alright. So, use the new strength to open the door. What new strength is that? We'll find out. Okay, so this marks the beginning of the second third of Devil May Cry. We're outside the castle. And up goes the drawbridge so we cannot get back in. Our only option here is to explore the island try to find more clues as to what Mundus is doing. Mundus is the Devil Emperor. There's some secret red orbs here. Once it lets you grab onto it. There we go. So we've done pretty much all we can in the castle. Nothing left to do there. So we're looking for clues. Anything that will help us to get further. Now this game can be basically split into three thirds. The first third is the early castle. The second third is outside exploring the island. And the third part is the late castle. So we do return to the castle later. A secret hidden devil star. Uh, if you don't remember devil stars recover your devil trigger gouge for you. There's um, quite a few items hidden here. Now, last time I got the grenade gun, but I didn't get a chance to show it off. So, let's play with it. Got some very nice power to it, of course. It's got a rather long um, kickback animation though. Now this is this brings me to another technique. It's called grenade cancelling, uh, or grenade rolling, or grenade jumping, whatever you want to call it. Really. See how long that animation is? Well, we can cut it short by jumping or rolling. And suddenly, you can shoot faster. Out of all the uh, more advanced techniques, this is the one you're most likely to pick up on yourself because it's just so handy. So very handy. Alright, well let's continue onwards. We'll find something to use this grenade gun on. These are blades. They're like the little brothers of the frosts we saw earlier. But they don't have an element, they're just, they're just ugly lizards. The best weapon to use is the grenade gun, handily. What a coincidence we just got the grenade gun. <laughs> so, just grenade roll. They can catch you off guard every now and then, gotta be careful. Like that. He's dead. they're all dead. Yep, they're all dead. Okay. So that was our introduction to the blades. Now in this area here there's quite a lot of items scattered around. First off we have a yellow orb. Extra life. That'll be very helpful to me for when I'm attempting bosses. Uh, that's a green orb health. I'm going to leave that for now. I shall leave that. Climb up the ramp. And what's this? And a blue orb fragment. Excellent. Oops, I meant the stinger, but it targeted the uh, 
gravestone. Stinger. Stinger's a nice way to travel. So with the grenade rolling, you can roll or you can jump. It doesn't matter which what you do really. It just depends on what you like to do. It's very useful to learn to do and it's not hard. It feels very natural actually. Oh, it's hidden away up here. Holy water. Holy water destroys stuff around you. Yep. Kills enemies close to you. Now these double doors we can't go through yet. So let's forget they exist for now. There's quite a few different ways to go but look at those lights. I think the game might want me to go in there and there's actually nowhere else we can go currently so let's go. There's a lot of locked doors around here. Alright, nice and quiet here. And there's more items. Let's go grab some. First off, another Devil Star. We'll go to the other side. Now those blue things look kind of familiar. Do you remember what those were for? Mm, you'll find out very soon. And another yellow orb. Alright, so let's go and find out the purpose of this room. Nice red orbs and a dial. And jumping puzzle. Jumping puzzle. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it looks. It's actually quite. Well, I'm not going to call it easy because then if I fall, everyone will laugh at me. It's simple. There we go. Simple. Much the trick is don't try to double jump. The game doesn't expect you to double jump here. Just line yourself up and jump. Line up and jump. You can actually skip this whole bit in several different ways. I've seen um, two different ways to skip it. But we're playing the right way. And what do we have here? There's an inscription on the base. My name is Ifrit. The fool who awakens me shall pay dearly with the fires of hell. Everyone, meet Ifrit. Flaming Gauntlets. These are basically the other half I've been going without the whole game. There are Devil Arms, so they are a different choice to Alastor. They're basically Alastor's opposite. Alastor's fast, Ifrit's slow and powerful. Or well, Alastor has more maneuverability. I'm going to give it a bit of a whirl here. Flaming punches. But, I'm about to get into a fight, so I'm going to switch back to Alastor. Yep, look who's back. The Death Scissor. And I think he's going to try to skewer me. Yep, he's rotating. Rolling is the best way to dodge this. Jumping doesn't isn't very effective. But of course, you've got to roll at the right time, which I don't always, as you've seen in past videos. Oh, and I got hit by a sister, but I recovered all my health. Huh. Sucked in. All right, let's give you through the whirl. So pressing the R three button will switch between Alistair and Ifrit. Alistor. And Ifrit. It's a shame we don't have a quick swap for guns, but it's very handy we have one for Alistor and Ifrit. So Ifrit is punches, 
and kicks that are on fire. The basic Ifrit combo is punch, punch, kick, kick. You just press the button over and over and that's what you do. But every attack is chargeable. As you can see. There's a couple other abilities that I haven't um, attained yet. But another one is the jump kick. We have a jump kick. It's it's actually really good because it's homing. It will home in on your opponent. It's very cool. Alright, switching back to Alastor. Because you'll see why in a couple moments. Venom's gone, so this guy Griffin is sent after us. Now I'm running because I want to go get some firepower. That battle is actually optional. You can just run right past it. You don't have to fight him, but I'm going to fight him because, well, you're not watching this to see me run away, are you? No. So what I'm doing is going over here to the statue. And we have a new Ifrit menu. Quite a few abilities for Ifrit. We've got Magma Drive, it's a uh, Magma Uppercut. It's basically Ifrit's version of the High Time for Alistor. But it can be charged, but it's not as fast. Kick 13. Kick 13 is a, um, a kick, obviously. But if you're in Devil Trigger form, you'll do a really nice combo. So that's really nice. Uh, rolling blaze it makes your jump on fire mm. it's very good because it uh, it helps knock back enemies some enemies it's very handy at certain points and meteor we can shoot fireballs in devil trigger form and inferno create a wall of fire and burn everything within range I'm gonna get that one that one's only for devil trigger form as well there's a lot of Devil Trigger form abilities here. Should I spend the last orbs? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it, Inferno. All right, let's get back into the action. So this Griffin fight, this is the first Griffin fight. You can just run from it. All right, so at this point. This will probably be edited <laughs> because I suck at fighting this boss. I'm going to probably have to try him over and over. So, let's go. Alright. So Griffin battle. Griffin is a big electric bird. Switching to Ifrit because Ifrit is good. Section. That was a bad move. Yeah, electric bird. Lots of electrical stuff to dodge. Come on, charge me. There we go. Inferno. That's Ifrit's Inferno ability. That's what I ran off to buy. Because it's very awesome in this fight. It's very awesome in the whole game, actually. It's, it's great. Everyone should have Inferno. Everyone should have an Inferno. An Inferno! Everyone needs an Inferno. In their workplace. In their homes. As a pet. Alright, Alistor. He's in the air. So I'm switching to Alistor because Alistor has a double jump. If it cannot double jump at all, sadly. 
And I need to double jump because there's lots of electrical shit here. I need to touch. This fight's really annoying on hard and Dante must die because they add new ability. One new ability actually, but it's a big one. Feel that electrical shit on the ground? That's new. Doesn't normally do that. Landing. Okay, he's landing. Back to Ifrit. See, that electrical stuff is difficult to dodge. It's, it does a lot of damage. It's very annoying. Highly annoying. Alright, devil triggered grenade shots. Very cool. You may have noticed, but Ifrit's devil trigger form is orange and fiery instead of purple and electric. -y. Ooh, that was a bad move. So yeah, your devil trigger form depends on your devil arms. Nice try. Oh yeah. Let me get a nice shot at him. You knock him down every now and then. Just got to do enough punishment to him. Let's build up some more devil trigger with our grenades. Grenades are awesome for building up your devil trigger. Yeah, see how much devil trigger I'm getting back? <laughs> grenades! Oh, inferno, that's, that's an inferno, not a grenade. I've lost my mind in the heat of battle. Don't mind me. What are you gonna do? It's gonna fly, okay. Alistair. Alistair. Let's go Alistair. Those platforms, I don't know what those platforms are for. They're annoying. Always accidentally land on them and they screw me up. Shit! Alright, can I get to the health? This health. I left that health over there on purpose. Because I'm clever. Griffin appears to be stuck. He keeps getting stuck in this fight. I don't know if I'm... Yes, health. Okay. What's Griffin doing? Shit! What do I do? Vortex! It's a desperation attempt. Fuck. I still didn't avoid it. Well, I'm alive. He doesn't normally do that move. When he does, though, I'm screwed because I can't dodge it properly. It's extremely damaging. It's a very difficult dodge. Gotta dodge it at the exact perfect time. I think I triggered him into doing that by running away and getting the health. If you get too far from him, he does that, I think. So I think that was my own fault. But let's pretend it wasn't and just pretend he just did something weird, okay? That wasn't my fault, okay? That was the game being weird. He's doing a lot of dives now. You can see how the kick homes in on him. Sometimes it misses, but it's pretty handy too. Now he's walking around in circles. I think I broke Griffin. He's doing all sorts of weird shit this fight. That's alright. Griffin broke me. I've had to fight him so many times now. <laughs> Sit there and die like a good little birdie. Yes. Yes. That's good. Devil trigger. Shit. Get away from him. Get away from him. Oh, I was so stupid. <gasps> I'm alive! He's laughing at me and my stupidity. I didn't think that he punch would finish him off, but it did. And that's Griffin. Okay, I have no health left. This does not bode well. Because the, the mission isn't over yet. Oh, I'll continue on and just, <laughs> just see how I go. Well, now that we have Ifrit, we can go light this torch. The game points us in this direction, quite obviously, here. Lights. Big lights on the ground. So we can go light this torch. And through we go. Creepy. 
Uh, I'm gonna stick with what I know works. Out of store. Get up there. Get up there. This is one of the objects that's actually quite difficult to jump on top of. Yeah, whenever I'm not trying to jump on top of it, I always land on it. See, there we go. I didn't try to jump on it that time. Uh, and there's a platform over there. How do I jump on it? I'll try. Missed it completely. Okay. I might have to air raid. Yeah, I'll have to air raid. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna fly over. And there it is. Holy water. Okay. That's most of the items for this mission. Most. There's still some in the next room. Now I have to try to survive this with no health left. Yeah, no health left. Fetish. This is normally where you see him for the first time. Oh, health. Thank you. Oh, there wasn't much health. That was piddly. You're a cheapskate. So we just kill everything. This is this is quite amusing because I've been fighting fetishes since mission one. And then the game's like, hey, a fetish is after you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. How many more of these guys are there? I'll just grenade roll because they're all dead. They're getting close. Stinger. There we go. So you can see how how damn useful grenade cancelling is in that Griffin fight. Because it really is. Grenade cancelling is so, so useful. In so many parts of this game. Alright, we're on the home stretch. This is the last room. Ooh, nice. Red orb here. You may have noticed that um, there's kind of like a theme of new weapons trying to kill Dante. First, we had Alastor, who stabbed me. Then, we had Ifri, who tries to fry me alive. But Dante is too awesome for that. Let's destroy that. Ha ah, health, thank you. Kaboom. Kaboom. Beautiful. With all these evil weapons just lying around, waiting for someone to stumble upon them. Another devil star. Waiting for someone to stumble upon them so it can kill them. Now last time I tried the Vortex, this one, I went spinning wildly out of control, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bash it. Bash it. Orb Fountain. Thank you. It's a fetish rotating down there. Don't want to jump into a rotating fetish. Trust me. Electrified Grenades. Aren't they the best kind of grenades? Uh, well, flaming grenades are pretty cool too, actually. Right, these guys are just going to keep respawning, so I... Shit. So I just grabbed that yellow orb up there that I'm after. Yellow orb. Thank you. And we'll continue on. Stop follow me. Asshole. Okay. And it was actually a uh, red door. 200 red orbs. That's the end of Mission 9. I'm so glad Mission 9 is over. That was a harsh, harsh mission. A C rank. 
Oh. It's because I use the yellow orb. And because I suck generally. When you use yellow orbs, your rank goes down, 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 down. Way down. Alright. Saving that one. So that fight with Griffin, um, even once he's appeared, you can just run past him and ignore him. You can just go straight out the Ifrit door. And uh, if you're doing a continued file, you'll already have Ifrit, so you won't even get. You can not even see Griffin there if you don't want to. So you can just go straight out the door. Okay, that was the first spot that really gave me trouble on the original Dante Must Die mode I played, which was a continued file. And I had more health, more Devil Trigger. So I'm really happy now because I know it's possible for me to finish this with a fresh Dante. Especially now that I've uh, got Ifrit. I'm so happy I've got Ifrit. It's the other half, really. The other half to Alistair. Things are going to be easier from now on. Yes. The next time is Mission 10, which is uh, kind of short. Kind of easy. But damn it, I deserve a break. <laughs> so I'll see you next time for Mission 10.